update on Ben Lovejoy was uh, lower body, and he'll be going to be reevaluated or evaluated further tomorrow. We'll see about that. Um, Dan, can you, can you, um, I'm going I'm to steal two. Can you start off talking about a little bit, there are several plays in the game. Can you talk specifically about the move that Sidney Crosby put on Zidlicki to, to, to give himself that breakaway for that goal? For the goal? It was very identical to the one he did earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, just a, a situation where the, you know, the puck is bouncing a little bit through the neutral zone and, uh, you know, Sid's able to get a stick on it and slide by the defenseman at the same time. And, and we saw him do it earlier in the game. It's not the first time, you know, he's he's able to do, you know, a 10 and 2 with his feet and slide by the defense and at the same time touch the puck and, and allows him to get by there. And, you know, to see it uh, two situations in game where he's able to use it, the second one he scores a great goal on, a big goal for us. So, um, it's a, not unlike Sidney Crosby to pull that off. The other one is um, with Steve Sullivan. Not you had some options, and he started off. Uh, Greg Adams started off playing with Jordan Stahl, and then moved to Sidney Crosby's, and that that line produced the winning goal. Can you talk about that decision. I mean, like I said, you had options. What would you see with Craig Adams for those two guys? Well, I, pretty simple. Craig with Jordan and Cook put them together to play more defensive line against Kovalchuk and, and the game situation that put uh, him out there with Dupuy was uh, Kovalchuk's line again and so just kind of making a more defensive line uh, with Sidney winning the draw and, and Pascal Dupuy who's been used in that role before so that was more of a one or two time thing during the game and it was again to play against uh, their top line with Kovalchuk so it produced the goal but that was the reason why. Dan, coming off back-to-back -back games, uh, you mentioned Lovejoy's injury. Latang was out for a little bit. You speak of the play of your defense having to make up that time. Yeah, I, you know, we went back-to-back -back games, coming back with the travel late night and uh, getting down to five and then four for about eight minutes. Uh, our D had to battle hard, and, and we weren't that easy on them. They had a, a couple of shifts in the second period, especially with a longer change for our bench. They were pinned back there. We took our time out. Uh, one time, but really had to battle hard uh, against, you know, some good players. They, the Zajac and, and Kovalchuk, their line, and Parisi, their line as well, playing in the offensive zone, and, and Martin and Mikhailik and, and Orpik. England had to play some tough minutes back there, and really, you know, Flower was great as well. There was some, some flurries around the net and some point shots, and he was strong in the net as well in our, our defense thought played real strong defensively against their, their good players tonight. Dan, uh, Pascal Dupuy got his career high point total for a season with 49. When you got here and he was still here after the Hosa trade, how high did you see him peaking potentially as a scorer in your system? Did you see him as a 50-point guy? How, how do you see Pascal and the fact that he got that, that number tonight? I, I, I can... To be on, real honest, that it wasn't Pascal's best year in 09 when I came in. He, um, you know, moved down the lineup sometimes to the fourth line in the playoffs and out of the lineup, health, you know, scratched. And, uh, you know, Pascal was one of the guys coming back from the 09 year, the Stanley Cup year, where he was a motivated guy. He, he was coming in real focused, real motivated, maybe one of his best summers to and and he didn't really have a spot in our well, he had a spot in our lineup, but didn't know where that was. And he had a great year in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Really stepped it up, really played really strong, played on a wing with, with Sid and really became part of that line with Sidney Crosby and, and you know, I don't I don't know if Pascal's a guy you put a point total on and say he can be a 40-point guy or a 50-point guy. He he plays a speed game. He turned into a physical player, you know, a guy who leads our forecheck, a guy who's uh, you know going to get three, four, five hits a night. 
Um, and a guy who has always been able to shoot the puck. It's a slap shot down the wing was Pascal Dupuy, but he's gone to tough areas to score goals and be an effective player, a really, really good penalty killer. So I don't know if I ever put a, a point total on Pascal Dupuy, but he's done an unbelievable job the last few years of of really being an effective player for our group and, and turned himself into a leader in how we play. Uh, so it's rewarding to see him get goals, rewarding to see him score score points. You know, getting 23 is a I – mean, if, if he'd gotten to 20, I would have thought that was a great year for Pascal, and he's he's at 23 right now. He's got eight, eight game-winning goals, which is a great number. I mean, eight, eight game-winning goals is a career – let alone one season, and he's been he's been outstanding in a lot of different roles for us. Dan, you guys haven't had a regulation loss this year when leading after two. Why has this team been so good at holding a lead? I, you know, I, I think really it's because we were pushing the play uh, during games. We're, we're playing at a pace. We want to play at a pace. We try to make it tough on teams. Uh, that's our best. Uh, form of offense it's our best form of of defense as well and when we can play that way it's not that defensive it's playing in the offensive zone it's having the puck and it's tough for other teams to score goals our diff our goal differential is an indication of that in the third period but when you're playing that way it's you you're also good defensively and that has been a lot of how we've been able to be good in the third periods this year when we've had the lead we've continued to push and play that play that way not fall back, not go into a prevent and try to hold the lead or just play defense. So I, I think that's been the strength of, of when we have the lead, being able to hold it as well. Dan, um, back to, to Latang and a little bit with Gino. Um, Chris was out for a little while, came back, still had an, kind of an awkward trip into the end boards. Gino had a situation where he got where he got hit with a shot. Um, did, did, did he get, did Gino get x-rays or did Chris get, I mean, is there, is there any, are you confident, these are two pretty good guys, are you confident there's not going to be any lingering effects from what happened tonight for those two? Right, right now I'm not aware of any situation with either guy right now.